friends, my sweet, my tender friends. I hope your day has been super great so far, and I guarantee you it's about to get a little bit better. This is going to be a look at my $5 a day Robinhood portfolio. This is not my only investment, but I have committed to investing $5 a day come hell or high water and take you with me on that journey to show you that even a little bit of money has huge rewards in the long term. If you're new to investing or personal finance and are interested in either starting or improving your financial journey, then hit that subscribe button and I will post videos every week to help you find success on your money adventure. If you're interested in seeing what $5 a day can do, then stick around because we're starting right now. I always like to start these by saying that I have no license after my name. This is just my opinion on this subject matter. So enjoy it for what it is. Thank you. Before we get into the details of my portfolio, what I want to do is describe to you my methodology and thought process behind investing. This is the framework I have cooked up for setting my investment goals, which in turn dictate what funds I buy. It's a three step process. Number one, mindfulness. This world is so confusing. There are viable crap ton of options out there. When you jump into the world of investing, it is in no way less confusing. In fact, with all the freaking insane terms, it may even be more confusing. You can invest into stocks, bonds, ETFs, REITs, and the list goes on and on and on and on. How do you ever decide? Well, how I see investing is that you are setting aside money today in hopes of a brighter future. But what does that brighter future look like for you? I guarantee you it's different for you than for me than for the person down the street. The hopes and dreams we want to achieve are our own. This is why I put mindfulness as the first step to investing because I must you must find some quiet and determine why it is you want to invest what is your dream what are you hoping for these are all questions you must find at least the beginning of an answer to number two is intentionality once you have taken the time to calmly peacefully and mindfully decide what it is you want from investing then you are able to align your actions to intentionally accomplish your dreams Skipping going out once a week, not buying the newest phone, making the latte at home. These are all things that can save you money and that is awesome. But if your motivation is simply investing for investing sake, these intentional actions are going to get hard very, very quickly. However, if your actions are fueled by the deepest desire of your heart, your dreams, then that will inspire you to press on. Number three is prosperity, which means you are making it. You can see your dream and you are actually actionably working towards it. To me, prosperity is a mindset. It is not only reserved for when you have achieved your goal, but can be enjoyed throughout the process. If your dream is to retire early and your intentional action is to save $1 million, then finding ways to cut money from your monthly budget and invest it instead will feel freeing. Getting to that million dollars will feel incredible, but the process of getting there will feel just as good because you are working towards your dream. You have purpose and that is priceless. So mindfulness leads to intentionality, which in turn leads to prosperity. Enough talk, let's take a peek at my portfolio. Presently, my $5 a day portfolio is valued at $804.95. I started investing $5 a day on February 4th of this year. I had about 16 awesome days before the bottom totally fell out when COVID-19 hit. But I'm still cruising and you know we're still rocking and rolling. It's pretty incredible that in just over three short months of investing $5 a day, with a massive market drop factored in, that you can still be looking at almost a Grant. Investing does not have to be massive to be meaningful. Now let's check out what funds comprise this 800 bucks. When we jump into Robinhood, you can see that at present, my portfolio is made up of three different ETFs, SPHD, SCHD, and Noble. The first one on the list, SPHD, comprises $302.10 of my portfolio, which is 37.53%. I own 10 shares of this dividend focused fund. My average cost of purchase across all 10 is $38.67. My total return to date is negative $84.56. This is where you feel that burn of the COVID drop. I bought the majority of these shares before that took place. The next one up is SCHD, which comprises 400 
$39.83 of my portfolio, which comes out to 54.64%. This is another dividend focused fund that tracks a market cap weighted index of 100 dividend paying US securities. Essentially, all that means is it tracks 100 companies that are based in the US that consistently pay dividends. Simple, simple, no problem. <laughs> so far, I own nine shares of this fund and the average cost per share is around 47.72. My total return has actually been a positive $10.38, huh? I bought the majority of these shares while the market was down and a few as it's come up a little bit here. Finally, Noble, which is the new addition to the family. If you're interested in why I bought this or just think its name sounds cool because I totally do myself, check out last week's video up top and below where I do a nice quick overview of this fund. Like I said, I only own one share of this so far. It makes up $60.38 or 7.5% of my portfolio. The average cost is, well, the only price I've ever paid for one of these shares, which is $61.58. All in all, because the market just took a nice little poop, I have lost $1.20 on this fund. However, the quality of underlying businesses have got me feeling really good about holding on to this fund for a nice long time. Now let's talk what I bought this month. In the last month, in addition to buying that one share of Noble, I have purchased six shares of SCHD. I set a goal to purchase 10 of these and I've got nine so far, so I only got one bad boy to go. Investing only $5 a day, it definitely takes a little while to acquire shares, especially if you're committed to making them quality funds. Let's look at my performance for the month. So far, I am down $19.68 or 2.39%. There were a couple of highlight moments this month. There was a time on April 29th where my portfolio was up $41.33. Now that felt pretty cool. There was also a particularly low moment where I was down $30.73. Up and down all the time. You can count on it. That's just the state of things right now, unfortunately. Nice thing is, just don't look at it. Pick the right funds and freaking chill. Know what I'm talking about, B? Now, what about dividends? On April 30th, SPHD paid me $1.56, which is about 15 cents a share. I would say from the dividend perspective, that was a pretty big highlight for me. It's fun to get paid your dividends. This is the only fund I own that distributed dividends in this last month. Awesome sauce. Now let's talk about my goals for the next month. What I'm trying to do over the next month is number one, purchase an additional share of SCHD. This will round out my total ownership to my goal of 10 shares. I also plan to start researching and purchasing Vanguard ETFs. I made a whole watch list that I'm looking at daily. If you see anything in here that you own or recommend, give me a freaking shout in the comments. I'm going with Vanguard because I appreciate the consistent quality of their funds. When I started investing into specific ETFs, I had no idea how much bearing the management company had on the performance of the fund. I read a super good article that is a roundup of last quarter's performance broken down by management companies. I will link the whole article below if you're interested, but essentially it really shows how well Vanguard does by their investors. With my style of long-term buy and hold investing, the things I really care about are the quality of the companies in the ETF, the expense ratio, and now from my research, the quality of management. So there you go. That is the current state of my $5 a day Robinhood portfolio. 10 SPHDs, a 9 SCHDs, and one singular Noble. Total value, 804.95. And remember, I've only been investing $5 a day for three months. So if there are any of you out there that are thinking to yourself right now, I don't have the money to do investing. I'm broke. I don't eat bananas. I wear a loincloth. I'm sad. $5 a day. I'm telling you, that is the secret. You can do that. And if you invest $5 a day for 40 years, garnering an average of 10% per year, which is the historic average of the stock market, you would be looking at over $800,000. Again, I say, 
you can do this. If I can do it, a big old freaking monkey in pajamas, then you can do it. If you like this video, then smash that thumbs up button on your way out, my friends. It helps the video get seen by more people. I'll be making videos just like this every single month to give you guys an update on the state of my $5 a day Robinhood portfolio. How many times have I said that now? Well, go back and watch it again and let me know in the comments. Kind folks, it's been real. It's been fun. I'm Johnny Strobelakos. This is Hell Yeah Money, and I hope you have a peaceful rest of your day.